imagine it's Monday morning. You get up and you go to wherever it is you're going to work. You open the door and you go into this room and you immediately feel relaxed. You feel at home and you feel excited. You feel excited about what you're about to do. Now imagine you spend the entire day and you're just fully absorbed, fully engaged in whatever it is that you're doing. And you look up and wow, the whole day has passed and now it's time to go home. And so you open the door and you feel like the whole day has been so rewarding. You actually feel energized after this whole day of work where you've been fully engaged, fully absorbed, doing something that is meaningful and fulfilling. Can you imagine that? Well, that is what it's like to work in your zone of genius. Now, what is your zone of genius? Your zone of genius is the place where your interests, I call them your passions, your passions merge with what you're naturally good at and your skills. When these three things come together, you're in your zone of genius. And that is what makes for a day where you're feeling fulfilled, where you feel um, totally engaged. This is what makes for satisfaction. This is what makes for a filling, fulfilling career. So this is the ingredient. Your zone of genius must be present. And you should be doing your zone of genius the majority of time at your work. Now, here's the thing. When most people think about getting a job or changing careers, they only look at one, one ingredient to this zone of genius, and they only look at their skills. What is it that I'm good at? What can I do? And they take those skills, and then they try to match them with a job in the job market. But the problem with that is you're missing those other two ingredients. The other two ingredients are what is it that you're passionate about and what are you naturally good at? And you add that to your skill set. When those three things are present, you are in your zone of genius. So that's what it takes to have career satisfaction. Career satisfaction equals working in your zone of genius. So I just want to invite you to begin to think about what your passions are, what your strengths and your skills are. And those are the three things that you want to match up with the job that is going to really be the right fit for you. Now, if you're curious about how to find a career that makes you happy, fits your life and gets you paid, I have a five step process. And one of the steps is finding your zone of genius. If you're interested in that, please uh, check out patriceperillo.com and you'll find the five steps to find a career you love. And there are more instructions about how to find your zone of genius. So if you want to have a fulfilling, uh, meaningful, satisfying day today, work in your zone of genius. And I'll be back soon with more tips for how to find a career you love. Happy trails.